Hey folks, it's Eddie Ray with Destination Campground. We're at the Alpine Hideaway in Pigeon Forge, Tennessee. Now this campground is settled between Pigeon Forge and Gatlinburg. If you're familiar with the area, it just goes right up the road or it is right up the road from where you leave Pigeon Forge and head up to the separation lanes going into Gatlinburg. We got this reservation for Thanksgiving weekend uh, quick called up we checked around no one had a spot available and the alpine hideaway did now it's november uh getting into december and we're here camping for this weekend i'll show you quick it's a small little campground it sits between a little valley goes up to this entrance here and just give you a quick show of what this is about if you're here in the summertime they've got a swimming pool they also have a playground and of course, you know, main office is here behind us as well. So I'll give you a quick show. As you can see behind me, this is the campground office. It's easily accessible, it's rustic, and fits the bill for what you need. Across the roadway from that is the swimming pool. Swimming pool is covered right now, and then you'll look over my shoulder again, you'll see a playground. Now the entrance to this is gate gated and you can go through by pressing your gate code and you make your way. It's a pretty narrow roadway, but you can fit a camper up here. You can fit a class A through here. It works just fine. You can see behind me the gate and I'll take you through, show you a few sites, bathhouse and that sort of thing. Some of these sites are permanent fixtures. Uh, they're nicely kept, organized, and they fit just right in to the spaces allotted to them. And there are mobile fixtures or mobile spaces as you can see these as well. Now this goes all the way up the roadway to the back of the campground where it forks. In the center of that fork is the bathhouse. This site next to me or behind me here is site 11. Across the way is site 12. These are for smaller campers. Probably anything, we could fit in it and we're 29 feet in these longer ones. The other ones may be just a little bit less, but plenty of room. They have uh, water. Then they have sewer and electricity, also cable. Uh, this site here is site 16. You can see there's a little car parked in one of these and it's just enough to get into, but for smaller campers, that's perfect. To go along with the regular amenities, uh, the larger sites have burn rings, the smaller sites do not. There are also some cabins towards the end of the campground, and you can see those as well. They're nicely fit, clean, just a good small spot to get away. Some of the larger campers you can see here behind me, these are Class A motorhomes. There's a few of them packed in here. Uh, across the way is another, and then another permanent fixture campsite that's nicely kept and ready for the holidays. Now I'm at the split near the back of the campground, and behind me here is the bath house. It also has a laundry area. Across the street are cabins. These are the small cabins. That's cabin one. And you can see it's nicely set. And then there's a parking space beside it. And then they go on up the roadway. I'll show you inside this bath house. We're gonna go here into the laundry room. I hear a dryer running. Uh, we'll go in. So here we are in this small laundry room. There are three washers and three dryers, all coin operated. I don't see a coin machine, so if you are doing laundry, make sure to bring your change. Let's go check out the restrooms. Around either side of the restroom or the bathhouse are uh, family restrooms. We're gonna come in. We'll see. You can see there is a shower here and then a toilet with rails and a sink. All this tile is very good tile work. It's clean, it's warm, uh, and very user friendly. So you shouldn't have any problems with this. I'm well satisfied with what I see here. Okay, and now here is the men's room. I've checked it to see if there's anyone in here. There's not. Uh, three sinks. Tile work. Here is a shower up front, probably a handicapped shower. Uh, then you'll go in and then there are two others across the way. Now these have uh, access, as you can see, is one curtain, a sitting chair, and 
another curtain with a shower stall. There are toilets on either side uh, and in the men's room is the urinal. Baby changing station, as you can see back here. This is a really nice construction. It looks good, it's user friendly, it's relatively new and uh, this works great. I think this is perfect for our needs. Now our site is site B1. It's directly behind the bathhouse. We're not over flooded with light and uh, just a short distance. And again, they squeezed us in and I'm saying squeezed us in. They got us into the campground, but they also got us into the site. Okay, here we are at site B1. Our trucks pull in diagonally and then you see there's campers on either side of us here. Let's go up and just take a look and I'll show you what our site looks like. Now it's cold, not too bad as we can't be outside, but it, it's cooler. I haven't spent much time outside anyway because we've been doing stuff in Pigeon Forge and Gatlinburg. Uh, but you see our camper, we have a picnic table, there's our uh, burn pit, and then we threw out our carpet. Our walking area is gravel. We have just enough space that we could set up our chairs if we wanted to and hang out outside, have a quick fire. Back up this way are a bunch of the same other types of sites. And then on the other side, behind all these campers are more of those type sites. There are two turnarounds. One turnaround is before the bathhouse, the other is behind it. We had no issue and anybody could but turn around in either of the uh, turnaround areas with a larger camper. Now, if you got something pushing 40 feet, I think I'd question it a little bit, but for the most part, I think you'd be just fine. This is the spur behind me that goes towards the back of the campground. You can see primarily fifth wheels, and these are larger campers. There's one tag along or bumper pull travel trailer up there, and there's plenty of space. There are speed bumps, as you can see throughout the campground. The speed limit's five miles an hour, and really it, there's no issue with that. So, Behind me, mountains. Ah, that's more so of a hill. There's a road back there. There's no road traffic. And then on the other side, a little bit higher in elevation. You can hear the railroad from Dollywood from here and the fireworks as they echo throughout the hollows, but the hideaway, Alpine Hideaway Campground is uh, exactly what we needed for this trip. I give it a thumbs up. If you make it out this way, check out the Alpine Hideaway and make your reservation. They suited us. We would come back. We've been to a few campgrounds here in Gatlinburg, Pigeon Forge, Townsend area. And we'll be back for others, but uh, as you can see so far, this will work out pretty well. We appreciate you traveling along with us and following our journey, sharing this uh, cancer journey that we're doing, and uh, we'll add that things are going very well for us at this point in time. We have been blessed. We've got a few videos coming up, and I hope to be posting more as we're able to do a little bit more aside from this uh, journey that we're taking. We're going to be in Houston, Texas in a couple of weeks, and then destined for uh, Christmas and New Year's, and then back to the grind in January. Give us a thumbs up, subscribe, travel along, and don't forget to dream big and live for the moment. You all have a great day.